Today, what I'm going to show you is Llama Coda, which now has DeepSeek version 3, the new API from DeepSeek, integrated directly inside it. So you can get access to Llama 3, Quen 2.5 Coda, and also DeepSeek version 3 completely for free online, and you don't need to host it locally. You can just go straight on here. Now, I'll be showing you exactly how to build apps and tools with the live preview version in literally seconds, and I'll come on to that in a second, including how you can build like quizzes, SaaS landing pages, Pomodoro timers, whatever you can basically imagine. Now also, we'll come on to this later, but you can also host this locally. I've always completely free, but if you do want to host your ideas and what you build locally, you can do that, and I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. Either way, what I'm seeing here shocks me because it's so powerful and easy to build apps, tools, websites using this process and you can get access to the latest APIs completely for free. So what we can do inside here is we can say, for example, build me a budget in app as a totally random example. And I'll show you some of my best examples and prompts of exactly how you can use this in a minute. We can select, for example, high quality, which is going to be slower, or we can select low quality, which will be faster, right? It depends whether you optimize it for speed or quality. Now from here, we can also attach files, but we'll come on to that later. And then we're going to hit enter like so. Now you can see here, it's recommending that it's going to take about 15 seconds. So we'll wait for that to load. And now you can see that it's building out the app in a few seconds. It did take about 15 seconds to be fair. And it's come back to us and said, I'll create a simple budgeting app that allows users to add income, expense, entries, and view a summary of their financial status. Now, bear in mind, we literally just gave it like one single line, one single prompt, very, very simple, but it worked beautifully. And you see here, it says the app will use Shad CN UI components for the form and buttons. Tailwind CSS for styling and Lucid React for icons, right? So really easy to do. You see it coding in real time right here. And then once it's done, you'll also be able to preview this. Now this is kind of like a free version of Bold.new or these other free AI coders, because instead of having to pay for them, you can actually just build them in seconds using a really powerful API that's literally just been released a couple of weeks ago. And you can do it all for free inside this coder instead of using, for example, like Bold.new or Lovable or these other tools or even cursor, for example, where you have to pay, right? That's the difference right here. So for example, let's test this out and you can see the UI looks super nice and clean. So we're going to enter an amount just randomly, went to the description. So for example, SEO expenses for Goldie agency, link in the comments and description if you want to sign up. And then we're going to add an entry like so we've added that in right there. Really simple and easy to do. And it didn't take much time at all. Let's try something else now. Now what we're going to test is we're going to test out the Llama 3.3 API right here, which you can also get access to for free. And I'm going to say SaaS landing page. So a landing page for a SaaS business, it includes a clear value proposition in the prominent hero section, concise feature overviews, testimonials at pricing, and a clear call to action button leading to a free trial demo. We're going to create that with Llama 3.3 as we suggested, along with creating it high quality, but slower. So these are the settings that I'm using for this. Now we're going to hit enter like so. And in the meantime, what I'm actually going to do is I am going to go to bolt.new, which is a paid landing page builder. And we're going to use exactly the same prompt. And then we're going to pull them up side by side and see which one performs the best and whether they both work. So let's test that out right now. All right. So here we have the SaaS landing page. As you can see, this is the one from Llama Coda. So we generate that with this prompt right here. You'll get access to all the prompts at the end. So make sure you keep watching. And you can see as we scroll down, it's created like some nice icons, nice logos, etc is creating a nice little testimonial page section right here. And also we've got the pricing and then the ready to get started, start free trial link. So actually pretty decent, better than I expected. Bear in mind, this is just one piece of code. So there's no like big project files here. It's not like bolt.new where you have loads of different individual files. This is just a one page lander with a bit of code in it. Now, if we do compare it versus the output of the pay tool, which is bolt.new, honestly, I'm going to say the UI looks a lot nicer with bolt.new. But at the same time, you could probably go back and forth with Llama Coda and ask it to improve the brand colors. However, the difference here is that this is generated with a paid tool and has a lot more project files, as you can see on the code section here. So you've got all these different files involved. Whereas if you go back to Llama Coda, you've just got this one single code file and it's really simple and easy to host. And additionally, the design is not bad at all, to be honest with you. You've built out a website with one single prompt. So pretty impressive so far. One thing I'm going to warn you is like these tools can be super buggy. So just because it worked for me, like first time around, just because it worked for me in this instance, doesn't mean it's going to work perfectly every single time. So just something to be aware of, like AI does get, make mistakes. It's not perfect yet. Keep your, this is a free tool. Keep your expectations low. We're going to go over to here and we'll put 
Make me a quiz app about SEO. Make sure to give the user an explanation on question, whether they got it right or wrong. Keep a score going. I'm actually going to just test out Quen 2.5 Coda as well. Just test this out, see how that performs. Seems to go pretty fast, actually, when it's using Quen 2.5. So that's something to note too. Let's see what the output is like. I mean, the output is really nice. So now what we're going to test is side by side testing the Llama Coda versus Bolt.new. So I'm going to type in the exact same prompt side by side. And we'll see whether Bolt.new, which is a pay tool, can do the same thing at the same quality or whether Bolt.new is actually better, right? Be interesting to see either way, see what we get back. So we've got Bolt.new on this side and we have the output from Llama Coda on this side, right? One thing to bear in mind actually as well is if you have two tabs open with Llama Coda, it's going to stop your first project. So if you move on to a second project, don't do what I do, which is open up new tabs. <laughs> so I'll come back to that SaaS landing page in a minute and let's see what we got back from Bolt.new. Let's test it out. So what does SEO stand for? Search engine optimization, highlights it green, gives us the next question. That's pretty nice to be fair. Let's test this one out. So I'm going to say, what is the primary purpose of meta descriptions in SEO? I think this actually be really good for like building training materials for your team or creating lead magnets for your website as well. Let's answer this now. And this is pretty nice too. It works. So they both work side by side. I mean, honestly, the UI is very, very similar between both of these. But again, this is a pay tool on bold.new and Llama Coda is completely free to use. Now, if you want to actually share your project with someone else, you can click on share like so. That will publish it. And then what you can see here is that we get a link back to the quiz. So it's hosted as you can see right here, and you can just share this with people, right? Which is pretty cool. So you can build tools and then just deploy them instantly using this process. Now, if you want to edit it, you can go back in the chat. So for example, if we change the colors to, and then we'll insert some brand colors right there and we'll see what that does. But you can basically edit the existing project that you have, tweak it, go back and forth in the chat as well. Really simple and easy to do. Let's try something a bit more complex. Now we'll switch back to DeepSeek version three, just to get a better output. And I'm going to say create a beautifully designed SEO calculator, SEO optimized for the keyword with actual content on the page, keyword equals SEO calculator, link to this, change the brand colors and add more content to the page. Let's see what it does and what it comes back with from there. A bit more of a complex project. So far, what it seems to work really well with is shorter prompts, longer prompts. It does struggle a little bit. I think it takes time to build it out and sometimes the coding gets cut off. So I'm not going to tell you this is the, the answer to all your problems but it does generate some pretty good outputs as you've seen so far. Yeah, so you can see here, like it's actually cut off when it comes to creating something more complex than a quiz or a basic app. So in terms of use cases, I would say it's great for creating apps, building your own tools, giveaways for lead magnets, training quizzes for your team. It's not great for actually building like exact match domains and, and full pages, if that makes sense. So let's just test it again now. The other thing that would be interesting to test is like whether it actually works better offline versus online when it comes to building this out. So it might be a bit slower if you're hosting, if you're going directly to llamacoda.together.ai. Whereas for example, if you go to host it locally, you probably get better results because it's going to be faster. It's using your API and something, to, and something to bear in mind there. Here we've actually built a Pomodoro timer, right? So I said, make a beautiful Pomodoro timer where I can adjust the length of the focus and time and the break and it'll beep when done, right? So this actually creates something really nice here. So we've got the Pomodoro timer, your choice between focus and break, and then you can set the times, hit start, and you're good to go on that. And you see it's actually working like it's counting down and that sort of thing. Now, if you're having any issues with building the app, you can just switch the APIs. So for example, we switch to Llama over here, then we're gonna hit enter. And, and so you can switch between the APIs. You can use APIs for different things, different projects, etc. So let's test out, for example, Llama 3.3, and it's really fast to code right there, really quick. And pretty nice to be fair. And then we'll build this basic sort of blog as you can see right here. Now you might say, okay, but how do I edit some of this stuff? One of the best things about this is the simplicity of it. So for example, if we say change the heading to my amazing blog, we can quickly make some edits on the project. Now, the other thing you're going to notice as well is that it's one single file, right? So it's one single file right here. It doesn't seem to be like a massive folder of different projects. It's just one. And you can see it's just blog app.tsx is the file name over here. Now, also, if we go to preview, based on that change that we made, switched it from my awesome blog to my amazing blog. And also you've got different versions. So if we scroll up the chat, for example, we can click on this version to get the preview. And we can also roll back to the previous checkpoint as well. So let's say, for example, you want to restore version one. You can just click back on it right there, grab the code, as you can see, and then you can host this code as TSX. 
You can also, for example, like change the colors. So for example, I just said, make it rainbow colored. Obviously it takes a bit more thought in terms of making sure that the UI and the design is nice. But if you go onto the preview over here, you can see that it switched the background to rainbow color. It's just at that point you want to change the text as well. So make sure that you don't just change the background, but also the text if you're giving it any sort of design instructions. Now, what's also good about this is you can actually, it's actually one single file, right? So it's not like Bolt where you have to download loads of complex stuff. You've literally got one single file right here that you can host online for your app. Now, if you want to run this locally, all you do is you go to clone the GitHub like so. So if you go to terminal, clone the repo, like you can see right here, that's going to host it. Then you're going to create a .env file and add your together AI API key. If you want to get access to that, just go to together.api, sign in, grab the API key, and then you can grab this directly from API together.ai. And then you can see this is hosted locally now, right? As well. Now, if you want like the full terminal commands that I used to run this, then feel free to get that link in the comments description to my free course. And if you go to free SEO tools, then Llama Coda, you'll be able to get access to this. But yeah, that was super simple and easy to set up like you can see. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the steps that I use to build websites, SEO tools, apps, etc., you can get that inside my free SEO course, including how to host Llama Coda locally. And that's going to be inside my free SEO course. So if you go to the free SEO course, this comes with over 211 lessons on how to do SEO, including how to use AI for keyword research, link building, content creation, etc. If you scroll down to the free SEO tools section, as you can see right here, this category, there's loads of other free SEO tools that you can use with AI. And you'll see all the video notes inside the Llama Coder section from today right there, along with all my best tips on AI agents, Gemini Coder, etc. All this stuff is right here for you. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, we'll answer any questions you have, you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and how to stand SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.